Fight right. me if you want to, bitch. I ain't had a fight no. all month long. You want to fight me now? If you want no. to. No. All month long. Keep play with me if you, you want to. Come see me, okay? Come see me. I'm not going to have one today. I, I got am. somebody waiting for your ass. I ain't consequence. I will end you. Hey, what we got going on today? You tell me what you got going on today. You here at the shop. Usually you ripping and running. I got an appointment. Who you tagging? I got a touch up Riley's tattoo today. Riley's one of my original clients, and she got a lot of high profile friends that she could bring to 125th Street. So I'm wild excited for her to come through today. <clears throat> you know, Ra and Sky had a situation. How do you not know this? This dumb is all over social media. I truly believe that is over some eyelashes. I think that's how it started. Over what eyelashes? No, Allison got that eyelash line. So what happened? From what I know, Sky's best friend Allison has an eyelash line, and Ra Lee was on IG promoting it like it was hers. So Sky went on the joint like, yo, that's not your eyelash line. That's my homegirl. There's a bunch of bull going back and forth. But once Ra posted a video of her knocking on Sky's door, that's what really started this war. Bitch, I'm outside right now. You trying to play like you tough? You want to play like a tough guy? You never even knocked on my door, you dumb bitch. It was quick. It was for like a day, but it got nasty. Damn, man. Eyelashes? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to up my game from 125th Street. I can't have my employee fight with my clients over eyelashes. Hey. Hey, what's How going you on? doing? What's up with you? What's up, Good, man? what's up? Come chill for a second, man. All right. You ain't been here in a while. So where exactly are we touching up today? I want to oh, redo the one on my hand. So um, you remember you did this? Oh, man. This one is really special to me, so. Wow. I want it to be clear. I mean, because it says loyalty. And you know that that's what I live and I breathe by that. I got you, miss. I got <laughs> you, you know? Where's that, sh where that girl at? Sky. <clears throat> Yeah, she's off today. I, I wanted to talk to her because I really felt very disrespected by her. You know, everybody ain't no cokehead. You can't just be talking crazy to bitches and think they're not going to pull up on you. At the end of the day, I feel like it's just a big misunderstanding. Yeah. If you want, I could have her come in. Y'all talk about it. That would be wonderful. Oh, see, you really want me to call Sky? Because I was going to call her regardless. But hey, you are the boss, man. You call for this. Whatever happened in your shop, that's not Ted's fault. Let's get this tattoo done first. Let's do that. And then I have Ted call out for you. Perfect, Ted. Appreciate that. <laughs> Let's go. I'm already sick of hearing these lady palms with Ra. Let Sky just come in. Y'all settle your differences about this little <laughs> eyelash drama, and I'll get your tattoo done. I don't like getting in between female stuff, you yeah. know? Ready? Yeah. I couldn't have Black Ink without loyalty. I think I've earned the loyalty from my longtime client. And I demand the loyalty from my crew. If I got your back, you better have mine. And loyalty to me is doing right by Black Ink. I can't have old being late and wasted all the time. And I can't have Sky having her business out all in the street. When we move to 125th Street, I got to know that me and my crew is the same, either ride or collide time. What's up? Sky walks in the shop, guns blazing. It look like she's ready for bull And I'm not getting in the middle of these two fighting. What's problem? C's can handle that. He the one that called for it anyway. And by the look in her eye, this can't be over no eyelashes. There's definitely got to be something a little deeper going on. I don't know if it's the kid situation, but the only person who's going to find out is Ra's ass. <laughs> Uh, Hi, how you uh, doing? Why are you dressed like you came to bang? You already know. That's what you came to do? That's what you came to do? Honestly, I didn't expect this to get so out of control. How the you go from eyelashes to black eyes so quickly? Yes! Bye, Ra. Only in black ink.
That was good. I need a shot. Let's get a shot. Y'all want some Henny? Do you guys want some Henny? You don't need no liquor, yo. Why? In all honesty, I haven't really seen this side of Sky, like the really all out you up side of Sky in a while. That was not no straight up girl fight. That was a that was two bitches brawling. This whole thing with her kids and she got going on with that must really, really be getting to it. All right, all right. Fight is over. Rashida and I go way back. We've always seen each other at industry events and such. And tonight, she's throwing a shoe party. I haven't seen you in forever. Girl, I haven't been around, but you know, I've been kind of on lockdown lately. Lockdown? So. Girl, I got a boyfriend now. You, you know, play is off you, the you finally settle down. After discovering yet another indiscretion with Erica, I'm still pissed. What other dirt is Erica up to? It's got me thinking about this beef with this girl Chrissy, because I'm not buying her explanation. There's more to the story, and I'm gonna find out. Who would have thought me, Miss Socialite, Miss Club Queen? Right. Girl, now I'm home <laughs> making dinners. Does he appreciate it? Oh, yeah, of okay. course. Oh, he's so oh, good to hello. me. Yes. Christy, Christy, this is Sin. Hi, I know who she is. I've heard of her. Tonight is the launch of Ross Fashion Laundry. I've been here, as promised, since the crack of dawn making sure that everything is set up. I even brought my own personal DJ with me because I didn't trust the one that she wanted to use. And guess what? Little Miss Always Late Ra ain't nowhere to be found. Hey. Hey, look who decided to Ooh, Ma, it looks up. so good in here. You know, it looks even better, even faster. If you'd have been here. Yes, well, I'm happy I got here when I did. It looks wonderful. These are nice. You strategically showed up as soon as everything was done. Shockingly. Why are you so, so angry? So, we not gonna start this conversation with thank you. This is where I'm starting to get aggravated. This is her event, and I'm doing all the work. Told you I didn't want to do this, and I'm glad it's done. I'm trying to do this and it looks stupid beautiful. curtain. It's cool. Mm-hmm. I would love nothing more than for Remy to stop complaining. She agreed to decorate my fashion show. I think it looks great. Hey, girl. Oh, my goodness. Look at this bitch. Well, you talk about me being late. Toya, this is Remy. Remy, this is Toya. Hey, nice to meet you. I would say it's nice to meet you, but heard so many bad things about you. What's the bad things that you heard about me? I mean, one, you were supposed to be at the fabric store, at well, we the had fitting. like three schedules because your best friend was always late. Throw so me under the that bus. Was not, that was not my fault. That was oh. her fault. Late. Well, what do you think about the decorations? There's no decorations. Where's the decorations? I'm just seeing chairs. Hold on. Listen. Where's the flowers and all the um, extra I'm stuff that we work. talk about? I'm about to drag somebody. Hold on one second. Who is she dragging? Yeah. Walking around. A couple what of did you do? All right now. I just want to know what does she do? I'm a designer. What do you do? I rap. OK. And I smack chicks mm -hmm. that get out of line. You're not going to smack me, though. All right. OK. All Every right, single right, one right, of those right. little right, tiny teeth. That's what we're not going to do. You're not going to smack me. That are brown and yellow in your mouth, which fly down this runway. Every single one of them. Back up. All right. And take get, your get drum your wig. Back up. That's right. What the hell is going on? I asked for me to help me, not throw down with Toya. Both of these girls should know better than to have beef at my event. This looks ridiculous. Go Relax. get her and get her the Relax. out. Relax. If my friend doesn't get this little roach out of here, I'm going to go her whole event. Can you calm down for me? If you're not doing it for her, can you do it for me? Don't even let a bitch attempt to try to maybe think about disrespecting me. Then I'll relax. Go get her. Hold on. And kick Let her me out. finish That's my it. point. I'm done. Let me finish my point. All I know is that she's in the fashion industry and I felt like she would be a good partner. Go tell her who the f I am. Go tell her. You just wanted me to be upset because you was upset. Now, now the show's over. This whole f is about to go down. Flames. So the. Bye. Bye. How do you unhook the f? Frap the f out. 
Let's go. Pack your whole Now they don't got no DJ. Let's go. Oh, God, she's back. Now, how about that? Wrap the the up. She know that I'm tick, tick, boom all day. Why would you put me in a situation where I want to drag somebody? So I'm going to take everything that I contributed and I'm just going to leave with it, including the DJ. Silent fashion show time. You told your DJ let's go after you told me to fire my DJ so your DJ could be there? Absolutely. You are so, like, for real, though, you will never in your life get an opportunity to play me again. Yeah, that like is so f whack. Like that just speaks to volumes me. to your character, for real. Like you just tried to play Bo, me pack in front of all up. of these people. You could go. Okay. I never ever kiss on nobody's ass. That ain't the kind of like bitch I am. You just tried to play me never in, life am I in kissing front of nobody's a bunch ass. of people with fake asses. Out of here. That has a bitch that don't do shit. Try to talk to me crazy. I don't never try to embarrass none of my friends, ever. None of them. I trusted my friend Remy to help me with one of the most important nights of my life. And in turn, she's being spiteful. And this bitch is trying to take her DJ out the middle of the runway. This whole entire fashion show feels like a nightmare that I can't wake up from. You just tried to what? Just try to what? bark on me in front what? of a bunch of nobody. You sound crazy. You want no to come off the thing? Yeah. Where am I the event? Because I'm that's what you're Nobody. doing. If you make it to see that much show, about this do you bitch. think I would do this to you? Do you think I would ever do this to, to you? Ever? In. I swear to God, a bitch never crosses me twice. I'm good. That is super whack. No one crosses me super once. Whack. Super whack. No one crosses me once. Honey, the blogs are gonna have a field day with this tomorrow, honey. Tonight is supposed to be my fashion show where I get the opportunity to showcase my dress line that I've been working on for months. Yet here I am, about to sit in complete silence because Remy decides that her pride is more important than our friendship. I have a packed event, models dressed to kill, Mariah Lynn about to perform, and my friend is ultimately stabbing me in the back. That's why my husband don't want me around, because he don't want me around. Around you and you possibly bringing people that could cause me problems around me. I want to end the whole event, just cause, cause I'm tight. Why would you put me in a situation where somebody gonna try me? I feel like people take advantage because they know I'm on parole, but as much as it kills me, I know I'm better than that, and I'm trying to be better than that. I wanna kill you right now, I'm tight, but I know if I leave and I take the DJ and I go home, I'm gonna be furious. So just just go, turn on the music, let these big booty holes walk down the dress with the stupid dresses, and just Go and just get it over with. Just go, just go. Where's the makeup people? Fix my makeup, put in stupid shoes, just fix it. I don't know what just happened, but in all the madness, Remy decides to let the DJ stay. Remy and I are not good, but we're gonna have to put our personal issues aside, because right now, the show must go on. is Gwen and Fest XL, the biggest, the baddest Gwen and Fest of them all. I got a great lineup of female artists ready to showcase their talent, and I got a great set of judges. I got my man Success in the building, I got Remy Ma, Rich Dollars, and Brooklyn's own Mino. The prizes are endless. I got a track produced by Amadeus, and they get to rock out with me on my radio show. Gwen and XL, baby! Now if y'all wanna see some artists get busy, some noise in here. I'm here at Gwinning Fest ready to support all these young women that are looking to make it to the top. And I have two artists that I know can kill the show. Bianca and Mo. Hey, honey! <laughs> Bianca, I hope you are ready. You get up there, you kill it. You kill it. Please. I can't wait. I believe in you. I'm, I'm I can't oh wait. Tonight is huge for me. This ain't no cypher. It's a real competition and it's tons of performers. I need to show Yandy that all this hard work that I've been putting in is not for nothing.
Yanti, Yandy, was some bitch that I absolutely cannot stand. Not too long ago, the same girl had a standoff with me and my girls at a New York City strip club. And from my recollection, Yandy was definitely in the building. It's almost like Yandy is doing this shit on purpose. My artists are getting ready to grace the stage, but respect is much more important to me. What's going on over there? Is that Ra? What the f is that? Oh, no, she saw the f hit up. What the f is that? She threw a bottle? Yo, she's crazy. Oh, Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. My back was just turned, and I heard a bunch of ruckus, and in the center is Ra Ali with a bottle on her hand? Is she crazy? This is an industry event. Not a hood bro, and you're supposed to be a manager? Yeah, I'm being escorted out of the Gwyneth Fest, but I think Shorty got the point. Tonight's Gwyneth Fest is supposed to be about these females on stage coming for each other, but what it's looking like to me is that Rogers washed one of Yandy's peoples. Like if they was in the projects, I'm supposed to be here judging a competition. But of course, I'm going to make sure that my BITCH is good. Ram, you leaving? Yeah, you good? Yes, I'm good. Remember when we was at Starless, I told I was going to catch her the next time I saw her? You sure you went? I'm positive, I'm lovely. Bye, baby. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The crazy thing about this whole situation is that Yanzi is the one that brought this broad to the event. I don't know how much she knows about the history between her friend and Ra, but it's time for me to get to the bottom of this because if I'm going to have both of them helping me on my wedding, I can't have any more drama. What's the real problem? I feel like even whatever happened at Starless, but why would you say that when it's a bottle being thrown and I'm sitting right here and my back is turned? She said she don't know her. I asked her. She don't got no reason to lie to me. She said she doesn't know her at all. Whatever happened with them, I don't know about it. I wasn't there for that. That could have hit anybody. If you just respect boundaries, you don't do that. When we in here and I'm working, I'm working. Let me work. Keep that in the hood. So if Yanzi tells me that she didn't know that old girl and Ra had beef, I guess I have to believe her. But it's obviously some bad blood between Ra and Yanzi. This whole big kumbaya thing is gonna have to wait till some other time because the show is about to go on. All right, Remy, your relationship with Yandy is fairly new. Uh, is there a reason why you specifically asked her for help with the wedding? I don't want to say nothing. I feel like anything I say can and will be used me in the court of friendship. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest, we, didn't, we had one little hiccup, like, and that was the whole fashion show thing. Do you think because of that situation, the retaliation of Petty was to... Her, yes! Uh, I will say this, okay? I do believe that after all this time, a genuine friendship has developed. Because I deleted her number off the phone a few times and they still spoke. Let me go to Yandy about this because it sounds like you may have been a pawn in a petty game. She knows that. <laughs> How do you feel if that's true? Um, if it started out as a pawn, I didn't know that. So I genuinely opened my arms. You don't never arms. know nothing, girl. I know. You always don't I, I know did, something. No, no, I didn't. That's what I can't okay. take. I but know she knows. Let me, let That's me all I can't take is that I didn't know that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Not I first, can't. I didn't say it like that, I but can't. She I didn't knew. know Listen, that her and Nina, she knew. You don't have to tell me what I know and what I don't know. I know what you know, know. boo-boo. You don't, honey. And the reason I, and this is the the reason I can't f with you is because you are faking all the time. Listen, again. And I could respect you if you keep it real. You have I to don't check my down. hashtags. I didn't know she had a problem with her. I didn't know you and Remy I'm had a problem. You okay. Stop all right. it. All right. Stop. Let, let okay. Yandy respond to what you're saying. I'm let you finish, right? It seems like every season, there's someone to have beef with or there's someone to be at BFF with for you. I understand you've tried several different reality this shows. Girl, and this is where you've landed. You can never let check me. Finish. I'm not trying to check you. You can never check me because I want to expose you, Rob. Don't play with me, bitch. Don't play with me. Because I was being real nice. Let me say something. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before we... One second. Pap wants to talk. When they had a fallout, 
my wife had a little bit more time on her hands. So it was more of a perfect time and opportunity to really link up to with them. To follow up on what had a lot in started. Common. But I can say... <laughs> okay. Hold, settle down. Settle down. I can say, in Rod's defense, I, I didn't see it at first. But, Yandy, it do be certain things where you be like, oh, maybe, you know, Rod's managing? Pa -ha -ha. She's a shoe salesman. That's throwing shade. Is there something more that we're not seeing yes! that is behind? Yes! What's the problem that I have with her is that she always pretends that she's oblivious. I have problems with one of her friends. Okay. She know that me and this girl got major issues. Instead of her being like this, look. Yeah, Rod and my girl got problems. That's just, that shit got nothing to do with me. Anyway, Remy, what you need, flowers? She's like... Why would that... <laughs> they have... They have problems? It sounds like the issue is, Ra, if I hear this correctly, you feel like Yandy throws stones and hides her hands. Is that what you're there saying? There you go. You said it's so classy. Now, if I could learn how to start talking like that, I'd be all right. You're not going to ruffle my feathers because oh, we don't have any bye. issues. Let's, let's, let's deal with the issues Nina. one at a time. One second. Nina. One second. There's just a serious, serious epidemic. The audience, do you guys have your vaccination shots? Because it seems like there's a bad case of CT, and that's just the problem. She just can't take me. And that's just it. Sometimes you just can't take it. You have nothing. How many times do you think Come she practiced that line? Vaccination shots for everyone. Wait. Because listen, CT, 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 CT can't take. And I can't okay. take you. That's why I want you okay. to stage I left. Have no reason, I'm over you. I have no reason ever to be upset. I can sit on this stage and look pretty every season without raising my voice. You look pretty, boo. Who without told you you look pretty? Without you are without without she, without You can't. Can I say something? Can I say something? At the end of the day, y'all both sit here and tell us we gotta be bigger people mm -hmm. and we gotta stop fighting and, and we gotta not stop arguing. Me. And I'm I, not and you. I get, wow, you saying I'm this bigger person, I whatever. Ain't I don't bigger even person. know. But I don't even what know. What the f you heard me say no, that? No, I'm saying I don't. I what do you? Okay, bigger okay. person. No. I we just gotta... wanted to say that I will vouch for Raw and say that during the time that I was working with her on projects, she has came through like. I'm from the hood. I don't have funds for everything. I can't afford brand new Giuseppe's. I can't afford that. So Ra will be that one she to come and be like, shoes. you need it. No, I'm saying in general, Yandy. Right. She throws shade like that and then she want to act innocent. All That's right. what I mean. All right. You, you guys got to wrap this up. And all the bitches that we you got... I all provide right. them all, all right. shoes too. All right. I get to the party. I am obviously the last one to get there. Hello. I walk in and I see my name in lights on the wall. Hello. Hi. I'm happy to see everyone that's there, ready to have a good time. And I'm very excited and ready to party. Can we eat? Um, I'm starving. I don't know, but I need to eat. Of course, the person missing would be Royce. I'm not surprised. She's probably trying to come in. You know how they say fashionably late? She's not really fashionably, so she's just going to be there late, I guess. We're waiting for Royce. Be quiet. No, we ain't waiting for her. Pluck her little name off the table. She's like a good two hours late. Can I get a courtesy call or something? It's just rude, you know what I mean? Don't let it bother you. Whatever. Voice, 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 voice. You mad because we asking about voice? No, she's been the topic of conversation. Let's yeah. talk about Jen. I know that's a better. I didn't say anything. You went like this. It was tense and awkward. They just don't like each other. Nothing's ever happened. It's just two personalities that don't get along. You are so. <laughs> I'm phony? Yes. No, you I'm not so phony. Close. Let's not even go that route. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't have to go home I'm to you at night. Saying. So your the person you do give doesn't <laughs> think you're real. So why do you Whatever. readjust it? She doesn't even know my husband, so Whatever. I don't know where she's getting this from. Can you say I'm not genuine? Yes, she do, bitch. Everybody thinks you're fake. You're not fake to me. I don't have no complaints. This is my real friend right here, and that's what she said. It's just like a personal thing between them, so I chose to stay out of it. And it's my birthday. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. Did you have to do this at your your girl's birthday? Did you have to, have to do I this at your girl's birthday? I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. You leaving? Okay. 
There are a ton of things that I can say about Rashida that are gonna be very hurtful, but I don't stoop to her level. She's mad at me, what? Because I don't wanna f with you? There's so much hateration that I can't even deal. This is not like about, I don't know, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. This night is gonna play out correctly. Like, seriously. Sorry, I had to move. I'm so fake, you know. I'm over it. It's Evelyn's birthday. It's her independence party. So I'm just ready to get the party started. Let's start with you, Rocky Thunder, because you definitely lived up to that name. I mean, let's go through the list. You got into it with Joe, Tahiri, Jen, Consequence, and Rashida. That's half the cast, Rocky. Yeah. You got into it with everybody. I did. I, I like who I like. I don't who I don't. All right, well, I want to start with you, Rashida, with this whole situation with you and Rocky, because I feel like you jump-started it maybe a little bit. What was your industry P-line about? What is that? Well, first of all, the definition of industry p is someone who has sexual activity Clocking with multiple out. people in Name a music names. industry. Name names. Willingly. Name names. Drop them. See, I'm not a dry snitch. Let, let's That's the difference between me and you. What You're you a rat snitch. You did your time before. You're a rat bitch. You did your time before. And I'm here to serve me. your rat serve ass what? poison. Serve what? Let's oh, talk. You guys God, are bitch. throwing around right. a lot of insults, and nobody still has been able to tell me what the issue it's is exactly. The moment so I met you, why are you worried about not, what I do? You don't quiet. know. I'll wait. Rocky. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. My name has never been in the blog. Rocky. Rocky. I need you to come out the closet. How about that? Because you've been clocking my mouth. So you're going to come out the closet this season or next? We can talk one another. Rocky. I'm like a lady. But you. And make sure you return your shoes when it's over. Okay? We got to talk to you. You don't try to call Steve and You don't try to call Steve and All right, listen, listen, listen. I need you to stop talking. I need you to stop talking right now. Because the bottom line is, with all of this back and forth, I still have no idea mm -hmm. what jump started this mm -hmm. between the two of you. I'll tell so you. listen, shut I'll up. Tell you. I'll tell you. Unless <laughs> one of you can tell me this story yes, I can. very clearly, do you? Would you like to tell the story of what happened? When I met her one time, a, a complete scam. She had somebody call me and say, "Oh, we're gonna do a radio show." I get there, nobody's there but her. She said the people got into a car accident. Never heard from those people again. So I sit there and say, "What radio show have you done?" "Oh, I don't do radio shows. I sell shoes." So I'm like, "Wait a minute, Ra." Oh, Rashida Ali, I've heard of you because I have friends who've gotten robbed by her, scammed by her, played by her, by her. So then I tell her to her face, boo boo, I got no problems with you. You never taken money from me. You never my man, but you're a fake scam artist. So I can't do business with you. You think that bitch you said that to me and I didn't put my foot on her neck? What's that bitch said to you? Nobody said that to you. But you was Googling me, ho. Of course. All right. Keep you the the one thing that's head. gonna happen on oh, this stage, let me say this to the mother. Shut face. up right now. No, I'm telling you to chill, okay? Don't get it twisted. I'm telling you to chill. Listen, what I'm the not problem? I'm not no, that is, that is disrespectful. I'm not disrespectful. That is disrespectful. This popping Do not ever tell me to chill. You chill. How about that? I don't disrespect you. Moving on. It seemed that it had maybe a little bit to do with the fact that Tahiri and Rashida were friends, because you and Tahiri had a problem. That would make sense. Would you say that that was part of it? That would make sense. So let me just start with Tahiri. I just want to hear from your perspective, what was it exactly that went wrong in the relationship? Was it the fact that you thought that she was sleeping with Joe? Right, right before she started hanging with Joe, um, I had already stopped kicking it with Rocky or speaking to Rocky at, like, we had no communication, so at least she tried to reach out a few times and I was just over it. I was busy and I had to prioritize if I wanted to spend energy on negativity and so I chose not to. So you cut off the friendship, but you're, I, not, I you're still not telling me what, what we, it was. I, that... I, I just, you know, I picked it up really early. Um, I guess, you know, the more mature I'm getting, just the business itself, you tend to cut out the bullshit early. So I red flag and I was done. And then came the fact that, you know, her and Joey kept hanging and hanging. And at one point, I looked at them and I was like, yeah, a little too uncomfortable for me. But So then I cut them both out. Because I didn't get, they're old, they're adults. So they can do what they want to. You just ain't going to do it on my couch, key keying with me. So then right. that was like the cherry on top. That kind of said to me, okay, so you wasn't wrong on that feeling. Your spirit says no, you wasn't wrong on that feeling. So just let it, let it all go. And I did. Okay. So let's talk about Joe a little bit because 
Joe certainly, and I cannot resist this, presses your button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Absolutely. Well, first off, I mean, there really is no middle ground with me. I'm either off or on, and he knows that. He just knows me such a long time. He knows me very well. So, um, so he knows exactly yeah, what to do. Yeah, he knows exactly what to do. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm kind of hot-headed at times. So right. he just knows exactly what to say to piss me off. He doesn't even have to do anything. That's funny. Rashida, you have an opinion about that real quick? What do you think it is? I think Joe knows how to push series buttons. And you think that's said. it? I think he knows how to push other buttons as well. <laughs>